Hello, good afternoon. This is Diecast Looney. I hope you all do well on this uh, misty, horrible Saturday afternoon. And as I said in my last video, um, when I did the Johnny Lightning video, um, I was wanting to do something with my um, model pickup trucks because um, I have an abundance of them. I have at least 35 in my collection, if not more. Um, I've never actually really counted them, to be honest. But um, I was waiting for one to come in the post, which is that one there. And the uh, trucks, uh, sh shop trucks, uh, I think it's a car culture from the car culture range. Anyway, we'll get into that in a minute. But um, so I didn't end up doing the video and I ended up doing the video on um, my Johnny Lightnings instead. But anyway, so we're going to be looking at the trucks in a bit. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to be um, doing the um, details on the giveaway. So if you want a chance to win this Hot Wheels ID 2018 Camaro SS in Spectra Flame, Spectra Flame Orange, then uh, wait until the end of the video. But anyway, so today, trucks, um, quite a hard thing to do, because like I said, I've got, I must have at least 30 to 40 castings, roughly. Um, not all of them are mainline, some of them are, um, sorry, not all of them are premium. Um, some are mainline, a lot of them are premium. So... I just literally picked out um, some of my favourite ones um, and like I said it was quite difficult because I've got other pickups there that actual fact are better than these but because I've shown them recently I didn't think I'd show them again just yet uh, maybe at a later date um, it's funny actually and a couple of YouTubers recently have been doing um, some stuff on trucks um, I always get his name wrong you have to forgive me for that but I will leave his name in the bottom but um, I think it's X Off Road uh, Beers, or oh, Bears, sorry. Um, he did a quite a good, um, I think he was doing a 10 truck ta challenge, sorry, uh, on his YouTube channel. But um, I will leave his name in the bottom. Um, so go and check his channel out because he did some, uh, he's got some really good um, pickup trucks. And uh, like I said, I think he was doing a challenge. I'm not doing the challenge because I was going to be doing something on the trucks anyway. But anyway, enough of my wobbling on. Let's get straight into it. So first of all, let's let's look at this. So this is the uh, Hot Wheels shop trucks, um, which is a which is a I believe is yeah it's car culture, um, and these are the other ones in the range that you can buy. I believe these have been out for a fair while now. This isn't this isn't a new a new truck. I just literally. Have a bit of a thing for pickups. Um, it's in a Zamac. Zamac. It's uh, unpainted. Um, I presume they unpaint it and they just uh, they put clear coat on top. And it's funny because I've never really been into um, uh, custom trucks. Um, I prefer original, if I'm truthfully honest. But let's um, see so we can get into this whilst I'm talking. But um, nonetheless, I've ended up with quite a few custom trucks in my collection and uh, they're growing on me and th this one is, is very cool uh, hence why I bought it let's put it to one side so anyway this is the 62 I believe I just ripped through, through the packet yeah 62 uh, custom Chevy pickup let's take it out and straight away it is lovely and heavy um yeah, very cool. You see it's got... Uh, it is equipped with Champion spark plugs, which is really cool. Um, it's got a surfboard. Now, apparently this surfboard is detachable, but I'm not going to try and detach it. Um, and it's got uh, tampoed lights, tampoed spotlights. You can see the uh, indicators there. And you can see that it's got some shading going on in the, one of the bonnet vents there. And then if we go to the back, you can see it's got, again, tampoed lights. It's got the Chevy bow tie, another champion sticker. And I can't south something. Shield. I can't quite see what it says through the lens. And I like the way the roof's black. That's pretty cool. And again, it's all metal base, rubber tyres. Obviously, it's got real riders on it. It's upside down as usual. But yeah, really cool. Really happy with this one. 
And like I said, um, like I said, I believe the casting originally came out in 2008. Uh, not this particular model, but the actual mainline um, one did. And, and it came with a sunroof. Um, one of the variants did. Um, and I believe this is on the older casting, I, th I believe. Um, but again, I'm not a Hot Wheels expert, so you'll have to forgive me for that. But um, this is slightly modified compared to the standard casting in the main line because it's got uh, the main line one. I think this bottom piece here is plastic, um, whereas this one's metal right the way around. But nonetheless, very cool, very to have it in the collection. Very happy to have it in the collection, as I say. Yeah, just trying to work out if they're plastic on there or not. But no, so that's number one. So we'll push that to one side, and then this one is one of my is one of my favourite. This is um, a '68 Ford F100, and it's uh, I think it's got Tuplo grease written on the side. But I like this because when I bought this, um, it's got a bit of dust in it. Two seconds. There you go. Let me see. It's been in my collection a while, but because it's age, it's got that sort of. Now this looks like a shop truck, you know. You can see all the. Um, the detail, like the rust there, and the interior's done. God, it's got some dust on it. The interior's done really well. You see, you've got the armrest there, but um, yeah, it's just done really well. You can see rust all around it. You can see the plate detail, and uh, Greenlight really did a really good job on this. You can see more, and what I also like on it as well is the fact that the wheel, the wheels themselves, actually look like. They've got proper hubcaps on the wheels. It almost looks like you could um, get something very small and poke it through the hole. They've done a really, really good job. And then you've got the uh, under the bonnet detail, which is done quite nicely. A little blue V8, massive air cleaner. But yeah, I'm going to whiz through these quite quick because I've got quite a few here. But you said all good stuff, metal body, metal base, rubber tyres. And the tyres are nice and skinny, so they're not overly thick, which is good, because obviously Greenlight have a habit of making that, you know, the tyres are quite thick. But no, that is a very cool truck. And then number three is another one. Now, this is a mainline one. Um, I do believe this is from 2020 release. Um, actual families have a quick look. Uh, we two. Yeah, 2020 Mattel. So this is a relatively new casting. But this is the uh, Ford f uh, 150 SVT Lightning, bit of a tongue tie there, um, but this is just in my my opinion, it's done really really well for a mainline car. It's in like a, I suppose you'd call it like a champagne gold maybe. I'm not quite sure, but um, again this is all tampo rear lights, all the fronts tampoed in, backs black, but uh, yeah I really really like this. Um, got lightning on the, on the wing there, you can see it there. I nearly bought the premium version, I think it was um, from the Fast and the Furious, but I'm actually glad I got this. But obviously it's plastic wheels, plastic base, but uh, nonetheless for a main line it's done very very well and I really like that. So that's number three. And then this one was showing not all that long ago, um, I believe this is a 63 Chevy C10. Um, I'd call it a step side because obviously it's got the step side, but this is from Matchbox. This is a super fast, and uh, I just really liked it. It hasn't got tampoed front or rear, but nonetheless, it has got amazing side graphics. The paintwork's lovely. It's almost like a more like a well, it's like a it looks black, but it's more like a sparkly sort of graphite grey, it's hard to, you know, but all the back, all the bed details there, it's got a tampoed bed detail, which is cool, and obviously this is the one that comes with the uh, really well done tampoed engine, which is good, so you can see all the rocker covers going on there, air filter, it's even got the uh, fan belt in the front, you can see the radiators all tampoed, little cap, so yeah, so that's another one that's really cool, and obviously it's got, <coughs> excuse me, like I said, a matchbox is sort of version of real riders I suppose you could say so yeah so that's number four and then there's this one here which is I believe is a 68 um, 68 K10 
K10. Yeah, um, this is from Green Light. But this is um, one I can't remember actually when I got this. But again, same same stuff. It's in black, silver. I think this was uh, my my um, can't get pronounce it now. Um, uh, some sort of exclusive. It'll come back to me in a second. But yeah, again, rubber 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 tires, metal base, metal body. Oh, there you go. Look, sixty nine Chevrolet K ten. Yeah, it wasn't a sixty eight. My mistake. But I like the way they do these because it actually, even though it's made out of plastic, it does actually look like it's pretty properly lifted rather than a great big chunk of metal there, which is good. And this has got quite a bit of weight to it. But um, yeah, very cool. So that's number three, two, five. And then you can't leave out the Auto World square bodies. And this is a 1977 Chevy Bonanza, um, which is in like a sort of a metallic brown with the cream, I believe. Really, really nice colour. I think my camera's picking it up. You can see it says Bonanza there. And this is a standard sort of ride height. Again, got the bow tie. And obviously the back it does pop down really nice on it. Which is really cool. Usual auto world quality, feels good, feels heavy to the hand. And then if we can get the bonnet open, and you can see that small block Chevy V8 there, which is done really, really well. You've got some plate detail going on there. So that's the 77, and then I've got the um I think this is this this is the 72. Um, fleet side Chevy fleet side and this is in a lowered um, stance with sort of what looks like I would imagine they're 20 inch chrome alloys on it of some sort and this is in a really nice sort of light metallic green and this one's really cool too obviously slightly different because it's a different year but again all the same details painted lights rubber tires metal base slightly different back I think yeah that one's got Chevrolet going right across and that one's got Chevrolet to the side and again all opens up nicely and it should reveal the small block Chevy V8 if I can get it open which I'm having struggling with there you got it Yeah, see, very cool. So that's me two square body Chevys. Well, actual fact, this is classed as a square body as well, just a slightly older version. And then we'll move to the back, and we've got this 19... Now my brain has switched off. 56, that's a 1956 Ford F100 um, tow truck. Auto repair, 24-7. And this is a green light one as well, which I've had, probably had the longest actual fact out of some of these. And again, heavy casting. And this is from the days where it's got slightly thicker tyres. But nonetheless, it's still very cool. I haven't got many tow trucks in my collection, I must admit. But I do like these older Fords. These are really cool. Yeah, really, really cool. And it's just come back to me. That's a Miho exclusive. That was one of 3,000 or so, and I believe that's a Miho exclusive um, as well. And then, what else are we going to look at? Oh, can't leave out the... No, this is the original... Um, I think it's a 74. It's either 72 or 74. Um, Ford F-150. This was when... Um, this is when he first... When, after he'd first started um, doing all the lifting and stuff and the big wheels... Because this is the uh, Bigfoot original with, with the, the wheels aren't as big. These are the smaller wheels. And I prefer it with the smaller wheels. Um, obviously, because a bit later on, he did it with the even bigger wheels. But um, as far as I believe, this is this is this was his first attempt at when he first lifted it right up and had the big, the bigger, like I said, the slightly bigger wheels. I forget what size diameter the wheels are and what size and diameter wheels he went up to afterwards. But 
I do believe this was the first iteration that he did. Um, and then we got this 58 GMC, which is by M2, which is uh, very cool. And again, this in, it's got like a, it's black, but it's almost got like a, you can see a silver, silver fleck in it. No opening details on this, just painted lights. It's got some uh, wide tyres in the back, some skinnies up front. But yeah, nonetheless, it's still very cool. Yeah, really, really cool. So that's from M2. And then this one's another one. This is another one from the main line. This is another Matchbox. Um, this is a 56 Power Sports pickup, I believe. I don't know how it's a sports. It doesn't look very sporty. But again, for a Matchbox main line, done very cool. You see it says PAL. Tampo details in the front. Some plate detail there on the back. I believe these things on the back used to pull out and they were like storage compartments. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, that 56 Power Sports pickup. And then the last one is uh, one I just threw in. I believe this is a 52 uh, Chevy. And I just like this when I've seen it, just because of the fact it's got that sort of age look. Again, very basic. It's got some, looks, looks like some steelies on it. But uh, no tampo details. But again, this was just a plain main line. And I just liked it and I thought I'd throw it in. Have a quick look. Yeah, I think it says, yeah, 52 Chevy. But anyway, the video's gone on long enough. For me, anyway. Um... What I'm going to do with this, if you want to have a chance to win this um, Hot Wheels ID Chevy, um, 80, uh, 2018 Chevy Camaro SS, um, all you need to do is just comment on this video, say I'd like to win, yes please, um, can I be in a competition, or, or generally just comment, um, and I will count all the comments up. Now I'm, I'm going to give you 10 days. Um, which will make it, so what's it today? It's the 20th. So you're looking at the 30th of this month. Um, I will put the details on the bottom. Um, I'm going to give you 10 days. So if you want a chance to win this, like I said, just make sure you comment on this video. Either say hello, anything you like. As long as it's clean, just say anything you like. I'd like to win. Or just comment about the video. And in 10 days' time, um, same old-fashioned I will leave a date, but on the, on that date of um, you just you'll have until five o'clock to get all your comments in, and then I'll do a video at six o'clock, like I did before, and I will uh, announce. I'll have all the pieces of paper of everybody's name, and I'll put it into a box, and I'll get my stepdaughter to draw one out, and I will send you this. The winner will get this. Um, we we'll have to pay anything. I'll pay all the shipping, and we'll have a quick look at the car. And there it is. In lovely, you see the lovely burnt orange colour, sort of spectra flame orange, which is what it is. There's the car. But anyway, so say so if you want a chance to win that, let's put it back in its shot. If you want a chance to win that, just leave a nice comment. And uh, anyway, the video's gone on long enough. I will leave all the details in the video and uh, apologise for my rambling. And uh, I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for viewing and uh, take care.